Welcome back everyone. So in today's video, I'm going to show you a simple map interaction or the street view interaction that you can create using Figma. So here is a demo and I have the simple map which you can just scroll through like a regular Google Maps or any other map application. And you have multiple pins on this and when you click on any of these pin, you actually get a call out like this. So you can simply scroll through different pins and you can just click on this one to get this call out. So here we have a street view photograph uh, that you see on Google Maps. There's just a panoramic photograph of a street and you can just scroll through this one also. And then you have these pins where I've placed it on multiple stores here. And once you hover on any of these, you get these cool call outs which pop out of it. And that is a cool interaction. So here we have a new file on Figma and the first thing we need for this is a huge map for which I'm going to use a plugin called as Mapsicle. So this is a great plugin and once you have it installed, you can just open it up and just zoom into a location that you like. Zoom it to a street level view like this and then adjust the height to a bigger size. So 1000 by 1000 should be enough and then you can choose a style that you like. So something like light or dark version. So let's go for a light version for this. Click on create map. So that's it. You have this huge map on your canvas. The next thing you need is a frame so I'll go for a frame of iPhone 8 size and then just drag this image of the map onto your frame and align it to the center using these align options so in order to have this interaction of moving through this map or panning through this map you need to set the scroll behavior so just click on the frame go to prototype and on overflow behavior option you just select this to horizontal and vertical scrolling so to see how this behaves just click on the frame and click the present or the preview option so as you can see I can simply drag through this map I can just click and drag so this basically behaves like any map application like Google Maps or anything so the first part is done now we got to add pins on this map and then uh, do the design for the callout so for that I'm gonna take another frame here so let's give the dimension of this one something like 200 by 300 so what I'm gonna do is have a line from the bottom here and then have the callout design here so for that I'm gonna take a rectangle and I'm gonna just uh, fast forward this part here because this is just basic designing So there we go, we have the basic design of the callout. And the next thing we got to do is create a pin for which I'm going to simply use a circle. So let's create a small pin right here. Okay, that's going to be a pin. And on click of this pin, I want this callout to animate out. We are going to use a feature called as open overlay in prototype. So simply go to prototype tab and create a new interaction. On tap, we want this, that is good. And then we're going to select open overlay. And here the frame that we just created, which is frame one. So that is done, but now it will open it in an odd location, which is centered. But we're going to choose this as manual. So this gives us more freedom to adjust it where you want to open the overlay. So we want to open it at this location, just above this. And and center aligned so that looks good but we have this white background so we want to remove that too so just click on the frame and just hide this fill and also you can set the animation properties so right now it's instant you can better make it dissolve so that should look good so that it just fades in so let's see this in action so just click on the frame and click on the preview button here so I can just scroll through the map and once I click on this pin there you go you have this cool looking call out which comes out of the pin so now we want to animate this in a much more advanced way I just want this whole call out to come out of the small pin right here so in order to do that just uh, go to your frame and just group all these elements or layers that you have inside and just duplicate this frame so in the first frame you can just use the K option or you can just come here and select the scale tool and just scale this down to as low as possible and the next thing you want to do is just take it out of the frame so just using the shift and the down arrow key so you want this to animate to this frame right here so right now you have the animation set from the pin to this frame and all you want to do is just animate this one to the next frame right here and this should happen on delay so click on after delay at the least delay that is one millisecond and you want this to animate let's say for half a second that is 500 milliseconds and you want to set this to smart animate so yeah that's pretty much done so let's see how this behaves so once I click on this, you have this cool little animation as if it's popping out of that pin. And the best part about this is once you have done with this small interaction, you can simply place multiple pins to emulate the same interaction. So remove this clip content so that you are able to see the whole map. And all you got to do is just click on this pin, use the alt key for duplicating it and place it on multiple location wherever you want it. So I'm just placing it on multiple locations as you can see here. And don't worry if these pins are going out of your frame. So if I remove this clip content, 
content you can see those pins are falling out of the frame so just select those pins and drop it back into the frame here that's it so now if i go to this preview option right here you can see there are multiple pins here and each of these pins work exactly as we created it so that's it for the map interaction now let's see how to do the same thing for a street view uh, that i showed you what we need for this is a huge uh, panoramic view of a street so for that just google for panoramic street photo and you'll find a lot of things so this one looks good so i'm gonna just copy this up and just drop it onto your frame right here that you just created so there you go and then resize this so that you can actually scroll through to get that uh, street view interaction so i'm gonna place it somewhere here uh, i'm gonna create a new frame for the color design uh, so there you go i have the call out uh, design ready and the next thing i'm going to do is create a pin for this and this is going to be our pin and we are going to do the same thing right here just go to prototype add an interaction so we'll leave this at hover so while hovering i want to open the overlay and set this to frame 3 right here go for manual so we're going to set it at something like this and this should be dissolved so there you go we are all set so let's see how this behaves and there you go we have this interaction cool interaction so the callout is really small maybe we want to resize that but one more thing we can just add advanced interactions right here so maybe i want this uh, little callout to come out from this right so you want to mask that so to do that it's pretty simple just group this create this as a frame so i'll just do frame selection right there so that is done and make sure you enable clip content and just duplicate this part here so in this frame you want the content of this frame to be be hidden so i'll just take it out of view something like that so it's out of the view of the frame so that is why it's not visible and in this frame it just comes in so that is the interaction that we want to see so on this frame i'm going to add the prototype and link it to the next frame right here set this to smart animate and the navigation option should be swap overlay so we we'll leave that at half a second so let's see how this is going to behave so i hover on this there you go so that's it for this video guys, I hope you found this interesting and informative, thanks for watching.